Hello, now that you've installed Infoblock's IPAM freeware, let's log in and start using it. The default credentials are admin, Infoblocks. Once you type those and click login, the process begins. The first time you log in, you'll be presented with the end user license agreement. Please read through this agreement, and if you accept the terms, go ahead and click I accept. Now we are looking at the Infoblox dashboard. We'll spend some time on this dashboard, but first things first. Let's move to the data management tab here at the top. Now on this tab, we are going to go ahead and create our first network. In this case, we'll create an IPv4 network. I know based on the IP address I got that I am on the 10 Zero 01 slash 24 network. The network you're on may vary. Specify the particular address and net mask for the network you're on and click save and close. Okay, you've now created the first network within the Infoblox freeware system. Let's go back to the dashboard. From the dashboard, let's go ahead and click the discovery manager within this discovery status widget. This will allow us to select the network we just added. Verify that we're going to do a full discovery, and then we'll click Start to begin the, the discovery process. We can at this point close this particular window, which will take us back to the dashboard. Now each of these widgets are customizable and can be refreshed independently. So if you go to the top right corner of the discovery status widget, you'll see a refresh button that you can click to update the status of the discovery. Now depending on the size of the network you selected, the discovery could take longer or shorter than what you'll see here in this video series. So now the discovery process has completed. You found in this example we found 75 devices on this network that I'm connected to. Let's go back to the data management tab to see what we found. Back on the data management tab, you will see the 1001 network that I created. If I expand this network, I will now see a visual representation of all the IP addresses that are currently in use. I'm going to make a few adjustments to the screen so we can see this better. First, I'm going to collapse the finder bar on the left hand side. Second, I'm going to collapse the toolbar on the right-hand side. I now am using the full screen real estate to view my IP address management data. The next thing I'm going to do is toggle to the advanced view so I can see a more detailed representation of what I've just found. If I select one of these yellow squares, I will see that it's an unmanaged device, meaning it's not in IPAM already. I see its MAC address. And if I expand this Discover Data section, I will find additional details that I discovered about this particular device. In this case, it's an extreme switch. If I select a different item in this table, in this case, I selected, as you see below, an HP LaserJet printer. So that's the basics of IPAM discovery. Now, using the toolbar on the right, you can take one of these IP addresses and convert it to a host to make it a permanent fixture within your IPAM system. Now if you don't like this graphical view of the IP map, you can also use a list view. The list view gives you the same information but in a more tabular format. You can add or remove columns by editing columns here and you can also filter by any of the values in any of the columns including operating system if you so chose. This is a first look at Infoblox's IPAM freeware. Hope you enjoy it, and good discovery. Thank you very much.